Hey guys, welcome to this first installment of the introduction to Arduino and AVR microcontrollers. So we're going to start from the very beginning. Um, I'm going to assume you guys know how to install some software. So you guys have installed the Arduino IDE. I'm currently running version 1.6.8. Um, this is quite an up-to-date version being that I have set up multiple extra boards on here such as the chip kit boards, the Unit 32s, etc. But you don't need to worry about that. You just need to worry about the, the Arduino stuff. So the usage of this, okay, this is all comments over here. Um, it is C-based programming, so you get, if, if you're familiar with C, it's pretty easy to um, get a basic understanding of what's going on over here. But just to go through this with you guys, this is the sample, if you go into the examples, basics, blink. Um, that's what we're seeing here is the blink sketch, as they call it. Um, what this is basically doing is your setup is over here and this is your loop which is your instructions to carry out in a loop for your program so the setup pin mode pin number 13 on the Arduino output now I've got an Arduino set up here on simulation um, I've got an LED already on pin 9 as you can see over here so what I'm basically going to do just for basics uh, to make things nice and simple is I'm just going to change that to pin 9 on the sketch so we just change it to pin 9. So basically we're saying pin mode on pin 9, it's an output. Okay. Then we need to change the coding from pin 13 to pin 9. So the loop, what the actual instruction set, which is the loop that will run over and over again until you basically break or exit the program, is digital write to pin 9 high. So what that's doing is pin 9 is then going from 0 to 5 volts. Then it's waiting for one second or a thousand milliseconds and then it's writing pin 9 to low which is then going to turn the LED off then wait a second again. Now if I was to now verify compile that kit, that sketch, just let it compile. Now if you were uploading this to a real Arduino you would just hit the upload button and it would upload it via your board settings. You would select your board and your COM port that's being used from the USB. Um, and you could upload directly to the unit. Hey guys, so onto the bench over here. Yeah, we've got a Arduino Uno. Um, this uh, specific Uno has kind of been through the wars with me. Uh, you can see the original 9 pin power is gone, the uh, USB interface is gone, the USB chip's been stolen and used in something else, but the actual 18 Mega 328 on board is still working fine. And fortunately for me, I have another way of programming these things that I prefer, and that is via the ICSP interface on the side over here, using a ISP, uh, USB ASP uh, programmer, basically. Uh, so I am going to do some of the basic blinks and fades, etc., using an LED and this board for you guys, so you guys can see how it functions. So let's get closer to the Arduino on the breadboard and get started with this one. Hey guys. So here we see the Arduino in the bottom right hand side and here on the left we can see the code. Like I say, I'm just going to remove again all this extra commenting in the code. Um, I've got it hooked up physically to pin 9 on the Arduino here. Um, the LED is basically hooked up and then to ground via resistor. Uh, not the correct value resistor but it'll do the job. And like I said to you guys, normally you would just hit the upload button over here or sketch upload now because I am using a USB ASB programmer here it works a bit different you've got to ensure you've got the UNO selected and if you're using a port the port I'm not doing that I'm using the USB ASP so I can basically go to sketch and upload using programmer now the reason why I'm doing this is quite simply because there's no USB capability left on this Arduino board and it's the only one I've got lying around so you're just gonna have to put up with that it's busy compiling the sketch it takes a few seconds to compile when I'm doing video recording alongside everything else while I'm doing video audio screen capture all at once so it does slow the machine down somewhat and as you can see pin 13 on the board is flashing but now we want pin 9 to flash so we're going to come in over here, we're going to change this to pin 9 and we're also going to change this to pin 9 and this to pin 9 and then we're going to go sketch, upload using programmer we're going to wait for it to finish compiling and then the green LED should be flashing at that point 
and there we go she's uploaded and there you have your flashing green LED I'm hoping you guys can see that let's just go and have a look happy days with that right now onto a different example code if we go here to the examples basic we've got another one called fade so we're going to open the fade one not worrying about saving the example and now the fade one is a little bit different pin 9 is a PWM output pin on the Arduino so it can be made use of um, and then here you've got your code so let's just delete the so we're basically telling it that LED equals pin 9 the PWM pin the LED is attached to initial brightness equals 0 and then initial fade amount is 5 how many points to fade the LED bar now bearing in mind the level that this is is between 0 and 255 so that's just something to keep in mind um, so basically it's going to scroll from 0 brightness to 255 brightness at 5 points interval so pin mode LED is an output it basically declares that pin 9 is an output um, this is the loop the actual main program so this sets the brightness of pin 9 analog write which is now analog not digital write LED which it now already knows is pin 9 and it's an output brightness so it's going to set the LED to whatever the brightness amount is it's initially 0 so LED brightness 0 so the LED is off then brightness is equal to brightness plus fade amount which is this 5 so now it's going to take the 0 add 5 so now it's going to have the brightness is now going to become 5 so if brightness is equal to 0 and so on that basically what it's doing is it's basically scrolling up by 5 points uh, fade amount equals minus fade amount Then wait 30 milliseconds um, and then it'll do the next step so what we're going to do is we're going to upload this to the Arduino and from blinking you're going to see the LED fading in and out now like I've said this is code that's available in the Arduino uh, IDE so you can basically buy an Arduino, upload these and play with them out of the box without having much experience with uh, programming or anything like that and you can later on come in learn a little bit more about the programming and do some changes and make your own set of devices now there you've got the LED fading in and fading back out again basically as per the code in here now as you can see the examples are very basic but it gets the point across let's do that button code right so right now we've got the button sketch open the sample I'm just going to kill all this extra crap at the top okay so button pin is pin 2 LED pin is pin 13 so I'm going to change that pin 13 to pin 9 again so I don't have to keep rewiring the Arduino and LED pin is set to 9 button pin is set to 2 so what we're going to do now is we're going to bring a button in here I'm going to take a resistor, oh, just about anything will do, it's just to pull it to ground. And then on one side we're going to come to ground point. Like so. Okay, so that's going to pull that to ground. We're going to connect that to pin 2. So we've got pin 2 here. It's currently going to ground. And we're going to connect the other side of the switch to our 5 volt rail, which is pretty much here. And then we're going to again upload using programmer and once the upload is done if you push the button the LED is on you release the button the LED is off again what it's basically doing if you look at the code here pin mode LED pin is output pin mode button pin is an input and then on the loop button state equals digital read button pin now as we know button pin 
is an input button pin is pin 2 so it's going to basically do a digital read so 0 or 5 volts read of button pin and give us a state that state will then be placed into the variable button state okay now this button state if button state is equal to high digital write LED pin high switch the LED on else switch the LED off so there you see it physically happening in action all via the Arduino it's pretty simple really um, so yeah that just gives you a bit of a brief primer of Arduino and pretty much how it works and how much fun can be had with it now obviously on the Arduino Uno you've got many more inputs and outputs you can play with you've got five analog inputs where you can read voltages between 0 and 5 volts you can use that for reading potentiometers you can use that for reading voltages currents using different circuits um, you've got your voltage output 3.35 volts output um, you've also got uh, on this specific Arduino Uno you've got one two three four five six looks like six I think it is six yes you've got six um, what we call them somewhat analog outputs they're actually not they pulse width modulation outputs on the digital pins over here so they can output a PWM signal um, which can be converted to an analog signal and used as a digital to analog converter but yeah um, the microcontroller does have a proper analog to digital converter on the inputs and the analog 0 to analog 5. So yeah, there's actually a lot that can be done with them. I hope you guys enjoyed this very, very, very first installment of the Arduino basic tutorials. And uh, we will be making more of them for you guys uh, as time goes on and as we get some time. I just need to acquire a few more Arduino devices uh, so I can show you guys the USB side of things and we can start actually taking control of the Arduino using the computer. But that's for a much later episode. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, take care. Here's the actual circuit being used. Uh, this is a multimeter reading uh, from the variable power supply that I've got connected here. And this is the Arduino's reading. As you can see, 3.59. They're pretty much the same. Um, if we can bring it down a little bit to one point seven sorry one point six six let's go there one point three one as you can see it's it's getting pretty close obviously you'll have slight resistance differences between on the wires etc but then like two point six three volts two point six two two point six oh uh three point four two three point four one uh three point seven five three point seven four well that's actually seven four so as you can see it's pretty close i haven't done any like sort of alignment procedures or anything like that on this this is just direct direct and as you can see it is suitable for reading voltages nicely up to five volts i'll just take this up to five this one doesn't have a multi-turn so i've got to be quite careful that i don't suddenly jump up too high i got five volts 4.98 4.99 as you can see pretty damn close so more than accurate enough for building a bench power supply um, definitely a versatile piece of equipment but again limited to a maximum of 5 volts input um, unless you use a voltage divider so that's it working and happy days hey guys so I'm just talking a little bit about the importance of um, your supply voltage for an Arduino based voltmeter. At the moment we're reading 3.30 volts on the measure point when it should be 3.218 volts as per the red multimeter over here. Now the input is sitting at 4.910 volts and you can see we've got 3.219 volts uh, whereas the Arduino is reading 3.3 .3. so it should be reading 3.219 I'm not going to change that 3.219 what I am going to do now is I'm going to change the voltage up slightly to 5,180 volts onto the input. <coughs> and then if we measure, well, firstly, this display now shows 3.12 volts. And if we measure, we're getting our 3.218 volts, which uh, hasn't really changed. Uh, but we are reading a much closer value to what the actual value is now. So this, in effect, shows you basically how the input voltage can affect the output voltage. Now bearing in mind the voltage is measured reference to 5 volts. 
So if we were to get the input voltage supply in the circuit to exactly 5 volts, we would measure a very accurate uh, reading on the volt scale over here. So that's just something to think about when you're designing these things. To show you guys this in motion, here we've got 5,001. It's pretty close to 5 volts input. Um, we are measuring... Five point, uh, sorry, 3.217 volts on the input and the meter here is showing 3.23. So the difference between 3.23 and 3.21 is so small that you're actually seeing now how much more accurate this thing can be. So yes, the, the voltages need to be referenced, they need to be accurate uh, for these things to be accurate. Just please keep that in mind when you're designing a basic AVR based uh, voltmeter such as this that um, for you to get an accurate display of voltage on the input you need to have your supply reference done. Also bearing in mind I'm also supplying via the 5 volt power rail over here not via the, um, the rectifier uh, on board, sorry not the rectifier, the um, lack of brain cells today, the um, voltage regulator. There we go. And the voltage regulator uh, is not being used yet. If I was to be using it, we'd probably get a more accurate result. But let's test that theory. Let's actually solder it up and do that. So if we look at it now, uh, firstly this thing's saying 3,19 volts. This thing's saying 3,215 volts. So that's pretty damn close. We're inputting 9 volts. Uh, 9.130 volts. Through the diode, the diode drops it down uh, to 8 point whatever it is, basically about 0 0.7, 8 point three eight one volts. The regulator sees it as 8.381 volts coming in. It's 8.379 volts coming in and it outputs it at 5.027 volts. And uh, so basically your Arduino is seeing a 5.026 volts power and um, it's going to stay pretty stable at that so when you measure you're going to get your 3.21 volts so you're going to have 3.20 volts on your um, display 3.21, 3.20 and if you adjust it slightly let's just go up a little bit to what is it showing now 3.97 uh, on this display over here and 3.987 so it's still pretty close and accurate enough for most power supply work. So that just gives you a bit of an idea of how to make sure you get this voltmeter right. So don't just go ahead and throw this thing together and expect it to just be accurate. You need to do a little bit of homework on um, getting the supply to your Arduino, etc. stabilized nicely before you go ahead and do anything like that. So basically testing both sides of the scale. The moment we're reading 5 volts into here from the variable power supply. And we're measuring 5,038 volts. So again, close enough. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this power supply down in steps. Okay, 3,15, uh, 3,17, 3,18, 3,19, 3,21, 3,22, 3,23, 3,24. So you're talking about between 10 and 20 millivolts difference between the two. But again, that's because the voltage regulator over here is outputting the 5.031 volts instead of exactly 5 volts. If we got it down lower, we'd get things more accurately, but it's good enough, you know, for um, what it is for a bench voltmeter. It's probably going to be fine for doing basic measurements, etc., for your power supply setting up, etc., uh, after all, I do firmly believe that if you're going to set up a power supply for anything, that you basically um, use your multimeter to actually do your setup of your voltage, your current limiting, etc., to make sure it's more precise. And for those fluke heads out there, or fluke people out there that only rely on fluke measurements, we're going to do a quick check again. We're showing 1 volt at the moment, zero, but it's popping between 0 0.99 and 1 volt here. And we've got 1,018 volts on the fluke over there. And uh, if we take it up uh, to somewhere in the middle, 2.88 volts on this display. And then we've got 2.89 volts. So we're reading more or less the same. It's almost 20 millivolts higher, but uh, we don't know what the rounding off factions are. But uh, we're still close enough. And we can output this up to about 4.57 volts. Uh, 4.59. 
Happy days. And let's try and get this to 5 volts. There we go. We got 5. This is going to be a bit higher. 5.055. We can bring this down a little bit and it will still show it at 5 volts. There we go. And we got 5.029. Same as previously, more or less. So that's just done on the fluke meter. So you guys get an idea of the functioning of this circuitry. It is very simple, guys. I do urge you guys to build it and give it a try. It's uh, really worth the effort and uh, it can be a lot of fun. So as can be seen, there's a lot that goes into development and design of um, voltage multimeters or, or, or such. But basically, in this case, we're using a basic AVR or Arduino to use as a panel-mounted uh, voltmeter for our uh, um, power supply projects. And uh, I saw people asking for this sort of information. And, well, here it is, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, the schematics are still on the previous video for you guys to take a look at if you guys want to go ahead and do that. And just basically enjoy. Take care, guys. And until the next episode, I'll catch you later.